Once again, this is Jim here on Educator.com, Lessons on WordPress. We're going to talk about categories. Now, if you have WordPress open, follow along with me on the left-hand side. Just below post, we've got uh, actually a part of the post uh, module where you'll see that there is a categories option, and that's what we're going to talk about. So let's dive right in, and we're going to talk about how to, well, how to create categories. And the different features of categories, okay, we're going to talk about, oh, the names, the slug lines, the parents, and the descriptions, okay, you don't know what it is right now, but you will once we get through. And then, of course, uh, RSS feeds, okay, how to create RSS feeds with categories, and uh, specific for categories. So, you know, when it comes to cooking, you may have a category called seafood, and another category called desserts, and another category called salads. But, uh, you know, you don't want to mix and match things, so you want to be able to categorize that. Uh, it's easier for the user, e easier for your audience, and quite honestly, it's easier for you as the author and administrator of your blog, it's easy for you to organize. And I think that's the most important things. Categories makes everyone happy. So let's go ahead and dive right into the next slide. And here, if you were to look at the WordPress in your website, this section here is a blow up of this section over here. Uh, you've got name over here, you've got name, and then you've got slug, and then you've got slug. You know, you'll be able to see it with, if you have uh, WordPress open. So with a new category, obviously, you've got to name it. Okay, whatever it could be. Uh, if you're talking about sports, you may have a baseball category. You may have a football category. Or if your blog is about football, you may have a, a category for the quarterback, or the center, or the kicker, or the head coach, or the cheerleaders. You never know. And then the slug basically derives from the name, okay, and it comes up usually automatically, okay, and I'm going to put automatically, and I'll demo this in a second here, okay, automatically it comes up with a, a slug which is really uh, words uh, that are used for the website URL, website address, okay, so I'm going to, that are used for web address, okay, I I'm glad that I'm a typer and not a writer. Parent meaning, okay, if by default it's none. In other words, you should be able to access this category amongst the top. So it's not a subcategory. So in other words, uh, if, for instance, if you, let's go back to, to football, okay, uh, you know, if this is the parent right here, the subcategory may be quarterback. Okay, and that could be the, and this is actually the child, not that any quarterback is a child, but it's called the parent child. And we'll demo this in a second. And then of course we can describe the, what the category is all about if you'd like. Uh, so let's go into the browser and kind of